Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a pick a pile reading, three pile pick a pile reading, and the question is, what will happen if we get together? So you might be thinking about somebody you're in separation with, or maybe wanting to reconcile with, but you're wondering, what will happen if we get back together? Well, I would like to let you know, do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. These readings, they may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos as somebody out there might actually enjoy them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. So yes, we like to radiate with that true love energy around here. Happy, friendly, and loving types with nothing to fear. Why? Because we are calm and we are cheerful. Well, we try to be, you know. So yeah, what will happen if we get back together? I have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Hopefully you've been able to choose which pile is basically calling out to you. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start with pile number one. Okay, here's pile number one. What will happen if we get back together? Well, let's find out. It appears we have the frog, right? This is emotional healing and cleansing. So somebody here might be trying to go through some healing processes right now, cleansing themselves of toxic energies, bad habits, and those who do not serve them. Let's see what else we have. We have seven of pentacles, okay? You could be dealing with a Taurus or somebody with Taurus in their chart, but it does appear that somebody is actually trying to water these seeds to grow. Right? Somebody has planted some seeds of intention and wishing for them to grow, trying to nurture those seeds, right? So starting out here, we have the Ten of Air. We have the Five of Coins. Sorry, the Five of Cups, Water. We have Choice. We also have King of Water. The Five of Earth and emotions. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what these clarifiers are. First we have the Ten of Swords. We have the Twelve of Wands in the reverse. Okay, we have the Two of Wands. We have the Three of Wands, and this is yeah, in the reverse. Yes. Next we have, wow, I'm missing a card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to randomly slip in. This is for pile number one. Here we have it. There is the four, fifth, sixth card. Um, and next we have the 12 of swords in the reverse and the um, ace of swords in the upright position. Okay, so yeah. <coughs> that was pretty random, right? Um, okay, so this is what I got for you guys, all right? We do have a start out of um, this Ten of Air, right? This was, would normally be the Ten of um, Swords, right? And this could be somebody, you know, backstabbing you, somebody uh, causing deception in your life, right? Something that has caused absolute sadness or upset you in some certain way, right? Um, what will happen if we get back together? Well, it appears that somebody here is spreading their wings to fly, to fly away whatever from whatever it is that was um, hmm, causing them issues, right? This person doesn't want to be in any kind of backstabbing energy anymore. This person wants to move forward and find happiness in their life. Now, this person is also feeling the loss of a relationship, uh, something that has uh, they've worked so hard on, put a lot of effort in, and found just sadness in the end because they felt that all their efforts just were not even taken into consideration. All right, so this person has definitely made a choice, and this person's choice is going to be, uh, well, well, 
if they see you in the future, their choice is to possibly come back and speak to you, right? We do have this king of waters, water here. This person may have in the past, presently, whatever, uh, has put you in three-party situations, but is no longer wanting that, all right? And that's a good start, right? If this person was a liar or a cheater or whatever, that person is getting over that, you know? getting over their player ways, possibly, possibly, not sure, right? This is a possibility, all right? Um, we do have, you could be dealing with somebody with water, and they could be a Capricorn, because we also have this Five of Earth here, and this card uh, represents Capricorn. Also, we have um, somebody here who is feeling left out in the cold. So this uh, king is feeling left out in the cold because of possibly the loss of this situation. All right. So this person also has some pretty deep emotions for this person, right? Something that's not showing, right? They're hiding their emotions. They're appearing to be all happy and joyous. My life is sunshine and rainbows, but underneath they live in darkness, okay? <clears throat> All right, uh, this person, sorry. I don't mean to be going over here. All right, so uh, let's find out what's going on here with these clarified cards. Um, we do have, yes, okay, so somebody is definitely separating themselves from Ten of Swords energy, no longer wanting to feel uh, defeated or, you know, uh, hurt, backstabbed, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, this person uh, is feeling sad over the loss of possibly a King of Wands or this person is in this energy not displaying their king of wands energy, right? Not being very passionate for the situation at hand, right? We also have the two of wands here, and this person definitely is going to make a choice, all right? They know what they see in their future, and it may or may not be uh, you, right? So, um, yeah, we do have this king of water here, and um, I do see that this person definitely does not want to go through three-party situations anymore. This person could have uh, air in their chart also. This person could be holding king energy, but not really displaying it, right? Feeling left out in the cold, so this person is maybe at a standstill, just mourning over whatever sadness, whatever they're thinking about, they're caught up in their emotions, right? But I do see once they get through their emotions, they're going to find that they're going to have to come in with some truth to somebody. And this is uh, what's going to happen here. So what, what will happen if we get back together? Well, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get back together. You might get back together as in like speaking to each other. But it looks like uh, from this, uh, there may be some clarity, right? Somebody might get some closure. Uh, another person might actually let another person go. So when you do get back together, there is a possibility of either staying together or separating, all right? Because it's all based on this truth that's going to come in, right? So let's go ahead and find out. So, so you guys are not together, but if you do get back together, I think the choice is going to be up to... Uh, you, the viewer, the person who is uh, this person right here, sad over the loss, it's going to be your choice. There it is, choice on whether or not this relationship will move forward. So at this present time, there's no saying because you, this person, the viewer, cross watcher, whoever, I don't even think you can have cross watcher on this, but <laughs> if you're this person, um, yeah, it's going to be your choice. So it all depends on what kind of truth this person brings in, whether or not they're going to be able to stick to their truths, right? If they tell you something, are they going to be able to follow through with it, right? Or are they going to be lying? Are they trying to manipulate? Well, you're going to know uh, if that's happening, right? Uh, let's go ahead and find out what's going on here, right? So this might be, you know, this is a choice of one particular person. Somebody wants to come back. They're not sure of the choice of the other person, what they're going to, what kind of choice they're going to make. And, um, oh, excuse me. And um, it's going to be completely up to the person who is feeling the loss over this relationship, right? Because somebody has decided that to make a choice and their choice is, possibly to walk away from this, right? They don't want to be deceived. They don't want to deal with any deception or backstabbing anymore. And I don't blame them. All right, so let's go ahead and see what these four cards are. These are the Loteria cards, my creation, based on the original deck, right? <laughs> all right, so first of all, <clears throat> all 
get these together. All right, so first of all, we have El Diablito. This person uh, has caused problems to uh, the relationship with this individual. This person um, uh, has made this person feel ultimate sadness, right? Um, deceptions. Should they, uh, this person has made this person see um, the deception in others, right? They actually have learned a lesson from this person that uh, basically you can't trust everybody, right? Yeah. Uh, but it has opened your eyes to see that some people can be trusted, some people cannot, but you can't be judgmental uh, when it comes to that. you got to give people the benefit of the doubt, really, okay? We also have shielding. This person here is hiding their true feelings, right? They're not letting anybody know about how they feel about this individual, right? This is a king of water. Also could have earth in their chart, right? Um, but this person has a lot, a lot of emotions for another individual, right? This is like... Uh, uh, this person does see possibly this person as their sunshine energy, right? That kind of energy. Why? Because, you know, they weren't being honest. They weren't, sh they were shielding their emotions. And, uh, you know, nobody even knows that this person possibly is in love with this person, right? This king of water has come into the realization that they want to make uh, have a mate for life. They don't want to be running around three-party situation anymore. And as you see, we have two seahorses here, and we all know seahorses mate for life. If you didn't, you do know now. All right, we also have mimic. All right, so you could be mimicking each other's feelings, right? This king of swords, somebody with, with uh, fire in their chart, can have fire, air, and earth in their chart. This person is mimicking the feelings of this person, right? Feeling sad, wanting to move forward, wanting to make new choices because of um, the other person hurting the other, right? Maybe this person let this person go. They're feeling sad and remorse, right? Maybe this this person let this person go and they're feeling sad and remorse. So either way, you got to flip-flop that for your own situation. Now, we also have escape. Now, this person can also have air in their chart, right? They can have fire, earth, or, or air, uh, and water in their chart, okay? It can be separate, can be all of them together, uh, whatever. You know, you know your story and you know your outcome, but I do see that this king of water slash whatever else <laughs> signs are in his chart, this guy is giving up on three-party situations, not wanting to be involved, right? And is trying to escape a situation that they're involved in. We have the 12 of swords. This person is um, not really thinking uh, properly right now. All right. Usually this person is really analytical. But right now, because they're feeling sorrow, I think they're having a problem thinking. This is a la arana. So this, this card right here. This person might be ex uh, as trying to escape their sorrows, shielding their true feelings in alcohol, drugs, or some kind of toxic activity. So that's what we have now, right? So, yeah, that's what I'm feeling right now. This person is going through all this, right? Both of you are going through all this, all right? One is feeling sadness. Actually, both are feeling sadness. One is feeling like they have, they're hiding their true feelings, trying to escape this memory of, of this person and wanting to uh, just drown their sorrows, drugs, alcohol, sex, you know, um, anything that's addictive or toxic, right? Just indulging in all that garbage, all right? And you know what, you guys? All that does is waste your time. It doesn't help you heal. It doesn't help you get ahead. So if you want to go ahead and indulge, Go ahead, but you're not going to solve your problem any sooner. All right. <clears throat> um, yeah, we already did these. Sorry, my bad. Let's go ahead and pull one love message. Find out below how you can receive this actual deck that I'm pulling this message out. This is uh, somebody could win this. So just click the drop down, find out how. You can also find out more information about me. But let's find out what your love message is from this person. All right. Okay. So the past returns, yes. So the past is returning some way or another. This person wants to say they love you, that they choose you, all right? Um, they have worked on their heart chakra. Their um, sacral and solar plexus chakras are also aligned, and they are now working on their uh, throat chakra, maybe to be coming in uh, to give you a message or uh, place an offer to you or something like that, right? The letters we have are Q, S, W, T, G, D, I, and M. So if any of those resonate with you, um, this could be your story. This could be your pile, right? 
So remember, you guys, keep it true love energy around here. Happy, friendly, and loving ties. What's the thing to fear? Because we're in calm and cheerful people, right? Um, yeah, that's what I have for you today, pile number three. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And if I'm leaving you here, my name is Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll definitely see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, here's pile number two. Question once again, what will happen if we get together? Well, let's find out. All right, so we have the dragonfly, and this is illusion and the need for change, right? So somebody is really starting to realize that their life has really been an illusion, right? And they're having this deep feeling or this deep knowing that they need to change, right? Uh, let's see what we have here. All right, so you guys, we have the lover's card, right? Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but we're also dealing with somebody from the past. And yes, they do have feelings for you. Uh, let's go ahead and find out what will happen if we get together. We have the Queen of Fire. We have the Seven of uh, Air. We have the Queen of Water. We have the uh, Eight of Water. We have the uh, Seven of Earth. We have the Desire card. Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify these cards. See what we got here. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Six of Swords, we have the Nine of Swords, we have the Eleven of Pentacles, that's the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Swords, and finally, the Eight of Cups. Okay, you guys, let's see. <clears throat> so I do see here, we're, we're dealing with the Queen of Fire, right? Now this could be you or the other person, all right? You got to fit the roles how they uh, fit in your own situation, okay? Um, yeah, we're dealing with a fire sign, you know, right? Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. This person is a very knowledgeable, knowledgeable person, okay? Uh, this person has done a lot of studies, has, you know, gone within, you know, they've opened their third eye. Very spiritual person, this person, right? This person has a lot of knowledge, whether it's from books or from true life experience or from past life experience, okay? We're also dealing with the Queen of Water. All right, so I do have two female energies here. I do want to stress this could be same-sex relationship or it can still be a relationship between a woman and a man, right? This could be a woman in her female energy. This could be a woman in her male energy. Uh, 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 female energy. Uh, let me say this right. This could be a woman who's in her female energy. This could be a man who's in his female energy, right? Or swap it. Whichever you think, okay? So somebody is passionate, female, passionate energy, passionate, goes for what they want, knows what they want, um, and they get it because they work hard to get it, all right? Now, this person um, is very knowledgeable. This is why this person knows a lot of things. This person may know a lot of things about this queen of water, all right? This queen of water is um, very emotional, right? Very nurturing, very uh, big heart. Uh, is very loving and caring, um, but this person, this person has found out some information about this person, all right? This could be a male, uh, female, uh, female, male, female, female, or male, male, okay? Take it how it resonates. Now, we have the aid of uh, water, somebody definitely working on themselves, working on their chakras, hoping to... Uh, you know, get everything aligned here, trying to find that happiness in their life, trying to move forward triumphantly, uh, healed and abundant, right? We also have this seven of uh, earth, right? Somebody has planted some seeds, definitely trying to nurture them and see them grow. Nurturing the seeds by as in healing themselves, right? Healing themselves, getting themselves aligned. Why? Because they have a desire to do something, right? Somebody is desiring something. Somebody is placing judgment on a situation, right? And they're wanting to see the truth. They want to find the truth. They want to see, is this person really who they say they are? This type of energy, right? So let's go ahead and clarify. We have the Eight of Wands here. Um, this Queen of Fire may be receiving a passionate message uh, 
from somebody that's going to lead a, uh, somebody to either travel to them or travel away from them. But, you know, somebody is sending a message. Another person is traveling towards another uh, destination. And we do have this queen of water who's all up in their head, you know, worried about the situation. This might be the actual person who is going to bring the message in, uh, who is going to be moving towards. But they're, they're kind of conflicted right now. They don't know how they're going to do it because they know that this person knows about them. All right. <clears throat> so, um, oops. All right. So next here we have this 11 of Pentacles. This is the Knight of Pentacles. Once this person feels healed and, you know, feeling better about themselves, you know, they've gone through so much crap. We don't, you know, we don't know if, if this here is this person or this person. We don't. But we do know that somebody or possibly two people, because we do have two cards that indicate healing of the chakras. Chakras align. Chakras align uh, with earth. The chakras aligned with water. Okay. Uh, somebody is trying to definitely, uh, you know, align their chakras. Why? Because they're getting ready for something. They're getting ready to possibly come into union with somebody. Because look, we have two dolphins here. Boom. We also know dolphins mate for life, right? These dolphins, uh, they, uh, this person wants somebody to be with them. They don't want to look around anymore. So what's happening now is this person's nervous because they want to bring an offer to somebody, okay? So now what I'm feeling here, this person is this person healing, right? So this person healing is trying to see uh, if they can either uh, send out, they could send out an offer to somebody, right? Or this person might even be receiving an offer, depending on who it is, right? We still, you know, it's still kind of up in the air of who this person is and this person is, right? Um, but somebody is going to receive a message here, right? Uh, a message of stability, balance. This is a rooted person, grounded, want to make some kind of offer to somebody, right? We also have the seven of earth. Somebody had planted some seeds and um, they're trying to nurture them. Now, this person who's planted these seeds and trying to nurture these seeds is having issues right now. They're having some mental conflict, not knowing, is this person going to take me back? Is this person going to talk to me at all? Is this person going to accept me, right? <clears throat> well, I'm feeling that this person will, but somebody needs to step up. Right? Somebody needs to step up and tell the truth here. They need to open up. They need to say what they want to they need to say what they mean and mean what they say. Right? Um, somebody here is also desiring another person really badly, and they're desiring a person who actually walked away from them. Okay? So somebody here, one of these two, somebody here walked away, or somebody said it's over, right? Something like that. Right? So whichever one of you said it was over. The other one wants you back. <laughs> All right. Now, what will happen if we get together? There's not there's no knowing right now because it all depends on what they're bringing back to you, what they're going to say to you. Right. Are they going to bring in this pentacle? Are they going to bring in their love or are they just, you know, talking shit? Right. Are they just uh, making false promises? Right. We don't know. Right. So up until this point, what, we're, what will happen if we get together? There's really no saying because um, but we do know somebody from these two people in this spread is desiring another one really, really badly. And they're desiring the person who actually left them or walked away from this relationship. OK. Now, you know, somebody was actually sent away. Somebody actually walked away, said it was over. So whoever said it was over, thank you very much. Have a nice day. I'm good. The person who walked away or the person who ended this, the other person wants you back. All right. They're thinking very heavily about you and they love you. All right. But when you get together, we don't know what's going to happen because it all depends on what this person is saying when they come back. Somebody may actually walk away again. But it all depends on what this person says, right? They need to come in with some truth. They need to be honest. If they make any promises, they need to keep those promises, right? Yeah, sure do. All right. So let's go ahead and see what the Lotaria cards are, uh, have here. <clears throat> there can be happiness here if you get back together, I feel. <coughs> 
But you have to be on the same page, you guys. You have to be honest with each other. You can't be hiding secrets and all kinds of shit. You know, be open with each other. Be truthful. Be honest. And, and it'll work out, you know. But let's see what the Loteria cards have here. There's one. There's two. <clears throat> Three. Four. Okay, starting out, we have the culprit, La Mano. This person, uh, you know, the culprit here is, is somebody finding out the information about another person. Somebody found out about their deceptions or lies, their, just their bad ways, right? Um, El Musico, inconsistency. So this could be an earth sign you're dealing with. This earth sign is possibly, is an inconsistent person. Coming in and out of the relationship, not really sticking around, just getting their little fun going, and then they leave, right? They go for what they desire, and then they leave. Okay, this is inconsistency, all right? Maybe you won't see them again for a month, two months, three months, whatever, but this person is very inconsistent, doesn't stick around, all right? And this is why, you know... This is a this is a problem here, right? Um, we do have unfortunate, okay? So it is unfortunate that somebody has actually found out the truth about another person. Um, it does appear that somebody here may actually step away from the relationship, or maybe you know they did actually because remember we see here there was a loss. Somebody walked away. Um, and now others are healing, and what they desire is the person that left them. So obviously. Um, it's unfortunate that this came to an end between these two, right? Now, we do have moonlighting here, right? Somebody is up in their head, right? Uh, this is La Luna. They might be dreaming about you at night. They might be um, just thoughts, thoughts that come into their mind. They can't get rid of them. They're in this self-imposed prison of their thoughts. They don't know what's going on. Is this person with a new person now? Is this person getting married? Is this person alone? Do they have kids? Whatever the situation is. Somebody is trying is all up in their head wondering, right? And they're remembering when that person actually walked away. Right? They're remembering how much they felt desire for this person as somebody was letting them go or they were walking away, right? <clears throat> so what will happen if we get together? Not on the table yet, not on the table yet. I do see that somebody is coming back from the past to speak to you. And like pile number one, this which was very similar, somebody needs to come in with some truth, right? If they're not going to come in with truth, you're not even going to get back together, right? It all depends on what this person is bringing to the table right here. See with this 10 of, uh, 11 of Pentacles, what they have to offer you, right? Um, yeah, because this person has been all up in their head, tripping out. Uh, we got the Eight of Swords here, and this represents, um, wow. Yeah. So, you know what? What I'm feeling here with this Eight of Swords, you know? Somebody. Somebody's up at night thinking about strategies, right? They're thinking about strategies on how they can actually bring this back. Because you know what? Somebody, you know, this card right here, this is also like the justice card, right? Somebody is trying to find reason and fairness in the situation, 
I feel like this person is thinking a lot at night. Yeah, you guys, this person is thinking a lot about an individual. They're thinking a lot about it at night, right? Maybe during the day they're busy working to, working on themselves, trying to gain their pentacles. But when the night kind comes, you know, it all sucks for it sucks for a lot of us. We go to bed and we our mind just starts going, right? That's what's happening with this person, okay? Um, they may have walked away or you may have sent them away, whatever. Somebody walked away and somebody is trying to figure out how can I bring this back, right? How can I actually bring this back and, um, you know, rejuvenate, re, uh, rejuvenate this relationship or whatever, right, with somebody from the past, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm getting, Pile 3, all right? Somebody's thinking about how they're going to bring this back to you. Well, like I said, you haven't even got back together yet, but I'll tell you what, um, you both need healing, right? And you will get back together, but it all depends on how the other one brings themselves to you, right? If they come back and start talking all their shit again and trying to, you know, take advantage of you, not putting in their two, uh, their part of the, the relationship, then obviously you won't get back together. But if somebody comes back and they tell you how they feel and they kind of show you some things, maybe they're going to make you a peace offering of some sort, right? It all depends on what they bring back on if you're going to even get back together, right? But I do feel if you get back together, if you get back together the way I just said, everything is good, truth, honesty comes out, um, somebody speaks their true feelings, tells the truth, whatever, whatever, it can be worked out and you can have find happiness together. But like I said, it all depends on how this person comes back, okay? Let's go ahead and see real quick uh, what love message you get from this person, right? Now you can win this set of cards, this one exactly in my hands. Click the drop down below and find out how. These are love message cards, okay? Let me put this on the side here. All right. All right. So, so this is a divinely guided uh, situation, okay? The divine is at work here, right? Somebody is feeling envy for another person right now, possibly because of their success, um, but what they don't understand is the person they envy is the person that welcomes them with open arms, right? It says, I have changed, all right? Well, we'll see. If they come back to you and they seem like they've changed, you will know, right? So you could be dealing also with a Capricorn. That's a second confirmation on that. Um, okay, and what I have here, I have I... K, I have two M's here, an M and an M, then I have an A and a B. So that might resonate with somebody out there. Could be somebody's initials, could be somebody's, um, could be an acronym, spelling a word, it could be a name of a month, whatever, uh, or the le first letter of somebody's month, uh, birth year, whatever. Um, but that is the love message I have for you guys, okay? Um, somebody definitely wanting justice in the situation and they want to get back together. But it's all about the presentation and how they bring that back to you, okay? And I do see a positive outcome if they come back properly, all right? So that was for pile number two. Um, remember, you guys, keep a true love energy around here. Happy, friendly, and loving with nothing to fear because we are calm and we are cheerful. Yes, we are. Well, we try to be. And um, with that being said, I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, here's pile number three, right? The question was, what will happen if we get back together? Well, let's see, okay, because you guys got to get back together in the first place first, right? <laughs> yeah, um, let's see what we got going on here, right? All right, so we do have the bear, right? This is about strength and introspection. Somebody's going within. This is a person who's like a bear. Rawr. Maybe when they get mad, they really get mad, right? But this person is going within to try to figure things out, figure that out. What do we have here? Ooh, the tower moment, right? This person is going through some healing process. At this present time, it doesn't appear like you might guys might get back together because somebody has had a tower moment, right? We could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio, okay? There could be an issue between those two even. Let's find out what's up in the cards here. We have healing. Yep, just like I thought. People are healing here. They're healing over a maiden or a maiden maybe healing. Somebody doesn't want to fight with this individual anymore. Yeah, there's been an ending, but there's going to be a rebirth here, right? Yeah, because of fighting. 
Yep. That's what I say. Four of wands here. Four of, wands, four of fire energy. Somebody's got you in their target. <laughs> they sure do. Let's go ahead and find out what the clarifications are. We have the Ace of Cups. We have, ooh, we have the Four of Cups in a reverse, you guys. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Four of Pentacles in the upright. <clears throat> we have, ooh, the Five of Cups in a reverse. And then we have the Five of Swords. So, <clears throat> This is what I get right here. Somebody's definitely going through some healing. Now, it could be this maiden, maiden, or it could be another individual. But I do see between the two, somebody doesn't want to argue or fight anymore. So I'm feeling that these are two separate energies. Um, we also have death and rebirth, right? Somebody, uh, this relation has come, relationship has come to an end, right? There was that tower moment. Because of fighting, arguing, bickering, possibly the communications were not very good, right? Somebody could have been caught up in their head and then self-sabotage for themselves even, all right? But I do see somebody has their eye on you. Yep, you are a target, okay? Uh, this could be a target of passion, of love. Right, so let's go ahead and clarify these cards. We have the Ace of Cups here. Somebody is healing because they want their Ace of Cups. They want a fresh new beginning. They want everything to, you know, be happy and joyful. But you know, you got to remember, no relationships are joyful and happy and playful and all that all the way through. You're going to have your times where you're going to argue, but you're going to have to also sit down, talk about it like adults, and get through it. That's what relationships are about. It's like a job. It's like a second job. You got to work at it, okay? Now, we also have the four cups in reverse. Somebody, possibly this maiden, no longer, no longer wanting to make an offer to anybody. Maybe she's making that offer to herself. She's not holding on to the situation. Um, I do see the seven of pentacles. I'm sorry, the seven of wands here. And what happened was there was a lot of fighting going on, uh, bickering, fighting, arguing. Why? Because somebody was... Um, what was having to compete with others for another person's love and you know what that should get told if that's the the if that's you know the main focus here uh in a relationship that you got to compete for the other person just let them go just let them go it's gonna hurt yeah but just let that fool go if that fool doesn't know that you're the one and has to have a whole bunch of choices to figure out who's the one uh-uh uh-uh don't even be part of this group just let them go Okay, I'm telling you, fuck them, okay? If they don't know that you're the one, then, you know, there's something wrong with that fool, right? So um, maybe you don't want to fight anymore with this person, and you don't maybe you don't want to see them anymore, right? You could be this maiden saying, I don't even want to see this guy anymore. Put me in that kind of situation. Had me defending myself all the time. Uh, putting me in competition with others. I don't want to fight with this person. I don't want to see them. So this is a possibility of why this tower moment came in. We also have death and rebirth here, right? There was an ending to a situation, and there's going to be a new start, right? Uh, we have the four of pentacles here, because somebody's hanging on to somebody else, right? I'm thinking that this person is hanging on to the maiden, the maiden who wants to let that person just go. Because she's she's a free spirit, yes, of course, but you know what? She's an original. She's a free spirit. She's an original. She's loving. She's caring. She's nurturing. And she's intuitive, all right? So watch out. <clears throat> um, so yeah, this person is, is not letting this uh, maiden go, I think, okay? Now I do see the five of cups in reverse. Somebody has been battling in their mind. Look, it's it's not over. I know it's not over. It can't be an ending. There can't be an ending here. So that's why this Five of Cups in the, is in the reverse. There may have been an ending, but somebody's not accepting that ending, right? Um, there also, this person has their target on somebody, possibly this maiden right here. And what they want to do is they want to come in and they want to speak to this person. Now, can't tell if this is in the reverse or the upright, right? So, but, so I'm going to give you two scenarios here. Either this person is going to come in lying to you to get you back, or this person is going to come in and tell you the truth. So only you will know. You're going to have to use your intuition, right? You are the maiden. If this is you, you are the maiden. Use your intuition on this one. You will know, okay? Because I think you're getting into that state of neutrality to where... Um, Whatever anyone says to you, you're going to think about both sides and, and you're going to figure out the answer yourself, right? You're going to use your intuition and make your decision based on what your intuition is telling you, okay? If you're this person, hey, buddy, you better come in right. Better come in right. Better come in with the truth because if you don't, the maiden's going to know. And she don't want to fight with you. She's just going to simply tell you to leave, right? It's plain and simple. No arguing, no fighting. Just please leave. 
and you know have a nice life basically right <clears throat> so yeah it appears that at this present time at this present time somebody doesn't want somebody and the other person wants them real bad <laughs> so if you get back together like I said this is similar for all the piles okay you're not together yet but it's somebody needs to come back in the proper way in order for somebody to accept them back. Once that happens and you two can work on things together, then you're going to have a great relationship, okay? Maybe you're going to have to uh, make some compromises, whatever, but I'm almost feeling that somebody here may not make those compromises and you might not even get back together, to be quite honest, right? So let's go ahead and find out what we got for uh, the Loteria. See what extra messages the universe has for us for pile three. One, two, three. One more card, please. Four. Wow. Got that for the last pile, too. One, no, one, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. La bandera. Okay, we have the guardian, all right? So this maiden definitely, definitely guarding her heart. Yeah, definitely not letting anybody in who's going to try to, you know, rule, crush her dreams, her happiness, her heart, whatever, right? She's she's very closed off, right? Um, she's also the guardian of, um, she's like the guardian of peace. She's the guardian of understanding. She guards herself because she's also intuitive and she knows how to... Uh, Find information out if she's not sure. That's for darn sure. Uh, we also have shade. Somebody has been in conflict with themselves, but they've taken themselves out of this shade, and now they're understanding what's going on. Okay, That's why this person has a, their target, because in the past they possibly didn't know, but now they know. They know who their person is, and they're targeting that person. All right. We also have El Valiente. This is a very cowardly person now. All right? This person, she will not make an offer to anyone who is cowardly. Never. If you are a coward, I hate to say it, I'm going to use these words very, you know, abrasively. She does not want a pussy. She sure doesn't, okay? She doesn't want a guy who backs down. She doesn't want a guy who can't speak his mind. She doesn't want a guy with low self-esteem. She doesn't want a guy who has no confidence. She doesn't want a guy who can't tell the truth, all right? So that's who this is, and this is why she's not making an offer to this person, because he is all of those things I've mentioned. Unless he heals himself from those things, she's not going to make an offer. Uh, you know, She's not making any more offers anyways. I think she's been through it all already, right? She's not going to make an offer to a coward. Who wants a coward? Nobody wants to be with a coward. No woman wants to be with a coward. No man wants to be with a woman who's a coward. Same thing, same thing. Flop the energies, right? Now, <clears throat> men want to be with strong women, and women want to be with strong men, right? Of course, of course. All right, so we have this five of cups in the reverse, and what's going to happen here? Somebody's trying to uh, escape a situation. They're trying to escape possibly the feeling that this is over. Yeah, somebody does not believe it's over. They're trying to escape those thoughts. They're caught up in their head. They've been shown the light, though, and they're going to be escaping these thoughts, these thoughts that, oh, my gosh, it's over. Um, they're going to be escaping those thoughts. They know where their target is, and they're headed toward their target, to be honest and to tell the truth. Well, I hope so, right? I hope so, right? There's a possibility this person will not come and tell the truth. I have a, I have a little tiny, tiny feeling, you know, if it was to be a 50-50, it's not. I feel like there's maybe like a 48-52, right? And the 52 is more leaning towards the deception. All right. 48, this guy might come and tell the truth, 48%. But I'm feeling that this person's not going to tell the truth. They're not going to be uh, forthright. They're, 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 they're treating you like a target. Look, <laughs> that right there should tell you, like, whoa, you know, they've got me targeted. You know, like, like they want to shoot me. I'm feeling deception here. Right? Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Deception from the coward. And what does the coward do? He tries to hurt others because he has no other way because he's hurt himself, right? All right, so we're going to go ahead and find out what this love message is from this person who's the coward, right? This person trying to heal. Hopefully, they're trying to heal. Man, just healing is hard, you guys, too. So we all know that. <clears throat> all right. 
Let me put this down. Of course, you guys know you can get this actual deck right here of love messages. All you got to do is click the drop down below. You can find out how. Okay. All right. So uh, first love. Yeah. Yes. This person, this person who's trying to heal, right? Dealing with this maiden. This is a very dirty person. This person is dirty. Um, is he's going to come back possibly saying, forgive me. Um, I'm on your team. I have only one love for you. You know, all kinds of shit like that. But I'm feeling that. Oh, I'm watching. Oh, somebody's also watching you. All right. Jeez, that makes you feel better. It makes you feel kind of a little nervous, doesn't it? It sure does. It makes me feel nervous. Um, with the letters we have are N, C, P, R, Q, Y, and U. All right. So that may resonate for somebody out there. This could be somebody's um, initial, first, middle, last. Could also be um, the month you were born on. Um, what? Acronyms too, right? So that was my reading for um, what will happen if we get back together. Well, in this situation, I don't think you're going to get back together because I'm thinking that somebody's going to come in with lies and you're going to see the truth, right? If you're this maiden, if you're this person and you come in with lies, you're not getting back together at all. So there is no future, right? There's no future with you. You got to get back together first to know if uh, you're going to, you know, what will happen if you get together, right? And if you do get together, there's going to be lies. I feel like there's going to be deceit. Um, there's going to be someone who is a coward, who will not speak up, um, who held possibly, who possibly held you in um, competition with others. Yeah, no, I don't feel that this is coming together. Uh, I feel that this has come to an end and it's going to stay at an end. All right. So that was for pile number three. Uh, yeah, this is a really hard one, you guys, but uh, this is what I got for you. Uh, try to keep it true love energy. I'm telling you, keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving with nothing to fear because you're calm and cheerful. Watch how that this soulmate or a soulmate comes in, into your life and treats you like the maid and the queen that you deserve to be, right? So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for coming and watching uh, this video. Hopefully it resonated or didn't resonate, you know, because, you know, this kind of was a, a sad pile here. But uh, um, if it did, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Let me know how you feel about it. And um, <clears throat> remember, you can uh, win this Love Messages deck. Um, just follow instructions below. And, um, yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. Listen, I'm Monica Mona, Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.